I'm Linda from paperboutique.blogspot.com. Thanks to Diana Crick, the inventor of the ScorePal, I just received a complimentary copy of their brand new ScorePal. Several months ago, I did a video comparing the Martha Stewart scoreboard to the original ScorePal. Today, I want to talk about the new changes in this new version and how it compares to the Martha Stewart scoreboard. Well, let's go ahead and talk about the new changes, and I think you're going to love them. First, the color is different, and this is the original. It's a gray, and this is a beautiful shade of blue. And then I'm very excited about this change. You have increments every eighth of an inch for the first inch and every eighth of an inch for the last inch. But even more important than that is now you have scoring every fourth of an inch, which I think is absolutely wonderful, where the older version had score lines like every half of an inch. You still have markings here for special folds, gate folds, etc. The other feature that I love is there's new instructions for the envelopes and they have great instructions on all different types of envelopes but particularly the A2, the A6, the A7, the number 10, etc. So I'm really very excited about that. Well let's go ahead now and talk about some of the pros of the ScorePal over maybe the Martha Stewart scoreboard. I think it's more durable, and I've said that in all of my other videos. It's more durable than the Martha Stewart scoreboard. Oh, and I want to just mention, I have a number of videos out there. I have one comparing the original ScorePal to the Martha Stewart scoreboard. I also have one on how to make quick and easy envelopes using both of these products, another one on how to make even a quicker liner, and then I have one on decorating envelopes. Another pro with this is the, the scoring tool, I hope you can see that, is a, heavier than the Martha Stewart one. There's better online support and projects at www.scorepel.com than Martha Stewart has. And I'm going to be making a project from that website. I think I'm going to post it next Friday. You can also buy a score mat to fit in here that you can cut on. And you can buy a score tote for, I think it's $16, or, and a storage case and accessories so that you can take it with you to crops. Well, let's go ahead and I'm going to demo a fold for you. I'm going to move this down. I'm hoping this is in frame. And what you're going to do is take your bone folder, and you're not going to point it like this. You're going to point it down, and I'm just going to bring it along. This is the right side of your paper. You're always going to put the right side of your paper up. Let me move this back. I don't want to be out of frame here. So you're going to move it back up and then the indentation stays on the outside and you can see the little bump. The bump goes to the inside and you score it and it gives you just a nice, nice fold. A con of the score pal is that the price is $29.99 and it's a little higher than the Martha Stewart scoreboard and I believe her retail price is $19.99 on the Martha Stewart scoreboard. The square envelopes are harder to make and let me just show you what I mean by that. Um, envelopes that are smaller than a 6 by 6 inch square are pretty, pretty straightforward but when you get to making a 6 by 6 inch square envelope and a little larger they're a little bit more complicated. You'll need to have your score mat placed below your score pal and then line it up down here. I mean, they're easy to follow and I'm certain that they'll work very well, but it's just, I don't think that that is a particular, a particular pro. Well, let's go ahead. I'll move this over and I'll grab the Martha Stewart. Let's get it in the frame. And this is the Martha Stewart scoreboard. And I want to talk about some of the advantages with the Martha Stewart scoreboard. You have score lines every eighth of an inch. And as I've said in my other videos, sometimes that's a love-hate relationship. My Sometimes when I'm scoring quickly, my bone folder will pop in and out of the grooves. It doesn't happen often, but it happens enough. And if I'm making a rosette where I just want a quick a fourth, I really have to pay attention or I'm going to go in, you know, into the eighth of an inch line. Another pro with the Martha Stewart is the envelope template. And as you can see when I turn it, I think you can see when I turn it over, probably, I probably didn't get that in, in view. 
there's a template that just fits on here with directions that are very easy to follow in terms of making envelopes. So I think that that's a pro. And the 6x6 envelopes are a little bit easier to make using the Martha Stewart. The storage, I'm going to move, let's just move this out of the way because I'm going to show you. There's a storage unit and you won't be able to read it. And your bone folder goes there. And on this side is directions for cards and this side for boxes. So that's a really a nice pro as well. And it, the price point is, I said, I think approximately $19.99. So that's also another pro. Let me show you a fold with this and it's just equally as great. I put it on two inches and then I'm just going to go ahead and score. Once again, this is the right side. The indentation stays to the outside, the bump to the inside, and then you just score it. It's, it, it gives you a great, I mean, a great crease. Now I want to talk a little bit about some of the cons. And I said this in my very first video when I first purchased Martha Stewart. The first one I had owned was the Score Pal. The board isn't as stable as the Score Pal. Directions and web support are lacking. I mean, seriously, if you look at www.scorepal.com, it's a great wealth of information on the website. The bone folder, let me get this in view, is a little flimsy, and you can see I'm always worried that I'm going to break it. And another con is it doesn't, I'm going to put this back, doesn't have matching accessories. Well, let me go ahead and, before I summarize, and bring in, you've seen the Martha Stewart one, let me just leave the the new Scorpal hair. In summary, I enjoy using both of these products. When I want to do a lot of quick and easy scoring, I'm now going to use my Scorpal, especially with the quarter inch increments. Also, I keep saying this and I do plan on buying the mat so that when I go to crops, I can just slip the mat right in here and use, you know, and use the work side of the mat a lot during crops. When I want to do scoring that involves the eighth of an inch increments and making quick and easy score envelopes, I'll still, and for variety too, I'll use the Martha Stewart scoreboard. The, the bottom line is I love both of them. And I'm glad I own both of them. Now I own all three of them. But the bottom line for you is that you'll want to purchase the product that meets your individual needs and budget. Well, I'd like to thank you for watching. And please visit my blog at www paperboutique.blogspot.com for more projects and ideas. Bye-bye.